Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Great to have you. So first off, let's go over the basics. Who should get a mammogram? The American College of Radiology recommends yearly mammograms for women over the age of 40. Your doctor could have additional uh, recommendations based on your family history or your breast density. All right, tell us why is it important now more than ever to get a mammogram? Some women miss their mammograms during um, the, the start of the pandemic through uh, COVID, and they haven't yet resumed getting their uh, mammograms. Missing mammograms over the course of two or three years is concerning because um, it could hinder the doctor's ability to detect an early cancer. Um, with breast cancer, the earlier that we find it, it uh, is the greater chance for cure. That's really good advice, that early, early detection. All right, some people might think that mammograms hurt. What can a woman do about that? I personally have never found that, but... <laughs> Um, it's a it's an individual thing, but the best thing you can do is talk to your technologist. She is there to help you um, express your concerns up front. Oftentimes, there can be adjustments made that really help the comfort level. Um, technology has come a long way with the equipment um, that we have some things that we can do, as well as use a soft pad um, if that's available. All right, and Allison, tell us about your role in the mammogram process. Um, I meet or speak with patients in the event that any additional procedures are recommended, explain that procedure, answer any questions, really try to eliminate the fear that comes with the unknown. Um, after procedures, um, I continue to track the outcomes and um, really kind of help coordinate any of those next steps that might be needed, just really there to support the patient. And, and something that I found, callbacks are, of course, very scary, but most of callbacks are nothing. Is that correct from what I've seen? Yes. Um, the, the greater majority turn out to be okay. Um, the best way that I can uh, explain it is that it's a question that's come up, and the best way to answer that question was with additional pictures, and a lot of times those additional pictures do not find anything wrong. All right, so get your mammogram if you're over 40 or your doctor tells you with the family history. And the lines are not as long for appointments now as they were with COVID, I'm finding. So, Allison Carnes, thank you so much. A great message for Women's Health Week coming up next week. We appreciate it.